I have looked beyond the infinite and what I found was both terrifying and beautiful. As this generation of consoles takes its final trot towards the sunset, Manifold Garden comes as one of several parting shots that put a cap on what has been a fruitful seven years for Sony. It is as visually and mechanically sublime as Valve's Portal, but pushes the envelope with a truly stunning surrealist paradise. As far as game worlds go, this one obfuscates as much as it steals your breath away. In this geometrically manufactured M.C. Escher wonderland, disorientating puzzles threaten to break the brain in the face of near-impossible Euclidean geometry. Imagined by visual artist William Cheer, Manifold Garden is like nothing I've seen before and was made forever memorable for that. For a game set inside such an extraordinarily unique play space, I'm surprised to see that it has no story to tell, nor are there enemies that stalk the player. You'll occasionally encounter visible signs of a growing corruption, but as it presents no significant danger or obstacle, you're free to engage with Manifold Garden with ease and peace of mind. As such, this is more of a contemplative art piece that can be interacted with using a mechanic called gravity shifting. Through this, floors become ceilings and walls into floors as you navigate a perplexing environment to press switches and activate pressure pads. To keep the player properly oriented, gravity shifts trigger a change in the overall color hue of the play space to make it easier to identify which way is up and down. Such concepts feel somewhat arbitrary in the late game as bigger and bolder puzzle elements have to be cleverly manipulated by thinking several steps ahead. Gravity shifts also trigger the use of special blocks that grow on cubist style trees that, when dropped on their appropriate triggers, open doors to the next area. The task of shifting cubes around might sound a little mundane, but the puzzles they are connected to are extremely clever and make great use of the game's fascinating physics that made me experience bouts of existential dizziness. The best puzzle games slowly introduce the player to its way of doing things, and Manifold Garden is no different. It all starts with a few breezy hallways and simple rooms built using visual cues to encourage experimentation with gravity shifting and learn to identify the colors that represent the different surfaces. These hallways then lead to medium to large size rooms occupied by trees carrying colored blocks that match pressure pads controlling locked doors. Starting things off slow and easy is the game training your brain to start thinking several steps ahead because once things kick into gear, you're going to get a serious mental workout through advanced puzzle elements. These dramatically increase the challenge by way of color-changing cubes, physics-based gravity shifting, rivers of water, and amazing portal effects that change based on your perspective. The non-traditional approach to puzzles is one of the best things about Manifold Garden, and the design and tech behind some of the more dizzying and mind-bending scenarios is nothing short of incredible. I have no idea how this stuff works, and just trying to wrap my head around it gives me a headache. It's one thing to see yourself climbing up walls, windows, and ceilings in the pursuit of nondescriptive blocks. Where things get really crazy and a little frightening to be honest are the moments reserved for when you go outside and come face to face with simulated infinity. Standing on the precipice of a tower, I looked down for the first time and saw that the spire stretched far off into the distance in every direction, causing me to feel slightly anxious and break out in a sweat. This is what vertigo must feel like. This effect is not just for show, as some puzzles require you to walk off the ledge and into a freefall so you can access paths thought to be out of reach. Falling really shows off the technology Manifold Garden runs with under the hood, because the effect of seeing the same environments rush past you is so seamless, making the experience feel dreamlike. 
The outdoors lend themselves to exploration, not only to find the necessary mechanisms to work with, but to simply take in the sights of such an alien place. This is Manifold Garden at its most breathtaking, thanks to its unique style and architecture that creates truly bold visuals. Such extraordinary views come at a cost, as it is very easy to get disoriented, and unless you're taking notes, hopping back in after a few days of not playing had me scratching my head trying to figure out what I needed to do and where I needed to go. Many of the late game areas are so visually complex that it can be really difficult to determine if you're on the right plane to complete a puzzle. Manifold Garden is as unique as games come, and its presentation really shows off the creator's artistic eye. The gameplay may seem simplistic, moving blocks around is hardly a genre-defining activity, but the style and technical proficiency that comes from interacting with these cubes makes it so engaging. The emergent exploration of the game's environments is awesome, as it makes stumbling onto puzzle mechanisms feel natural and organic. Stunningly beautiful as it can be, Manifold Garden can also be mentally exhausting after long stretches. As much as I never wanted to put the controller down, there were moments I had to take a break whenever I felt it difficult to concentrate on the growing complexity of what I needed to accomplish. Manifold Garden is complex, gorgeous, intelligent, and without any doubt, one of the best puzzle experiences you can have on the PlayStation 4. Darkstation gives Manifold Garden 5 stars.